Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quick juice review. A little while ago, Andy Beard, the owner of Best Sick Liquid, sent me four flavours from the new 100% naturally extracted tobacco range. Going to do two this week and two next week. Now, Best Sick Liquid, over the last two years, I've done maybe 14 or 15 reviews for them. But prior to those two years, I used them as a customer for about another two years. So I've known Best Sick Liquid going on for four years now. They do a wide range of tobacco vapes, obviously, but they do other flavours as well. They do fruits, bakeries and drinks. So if you're not a tobacco vapor, still check them out because they have a lot of flavours. I think they've got going on to three to four hundred flavours in total. Really, really big company, really big range of flavours. They do all the juices in sort of 10 mils in concentrates, in short fills, and in easy mixes. These ones that I've got here are like the easy mix range, where you set how much PG, VG ratio you want, and how much of nicotine you want it to be at the end, and it tells you how much of your own nicotine to add to make it to your strength. All of these I made to six milligrams, so I'm gonna be mouthfuling them today. But yeah, like I said, you can set whatever strength you want. These ones do require you to have your own 72 milligram nicotine, but like I said, they do short fills where you have a nick shot, they do concentrates, they do 10 mil bottles as well. The two flavors I've got for today are going to be the American Whiskey Blend and the Inca Cigar. Like I said, these are six milligrams, so it's going to be mouth to lung with you. Today's going to be a bit of a vape fly day. Both my devices are from vape fly. The first juice I'm going to be trying is going to be the American Whiskey Blend. I've got it here in my Brunhald MTL RTA. This has just come in. Not reviewed it yet. Review for this will be probably beginning of February. My coals in here, of course, are going to be from Nature Vape. To be a little description here of the coils I'm using. These are all mouth to lung coils. They're coming in at 1.12 on this one. The American Whiskey Blend is going to be reminiscent of a Tennessee corn farm. I'm reading this. American bourbon whiskey is highly sought after, as so is the tobacco. It's going to be a really unique blend of black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia leaves. I'm going to fire it on my Bunhald at 14 watts. So, yeah, let's give American whiskey blend a quick taste. With the American Whiskey Blend, I'm getting that really strong black Cavendish tobacco first. Strong and earthy. Then mixing with that, I'm getting a slight sweetness of the Virginia. I'm getting the bourbon whiskey taste mixing with that. It's not too strong. It is in the background. This is more a tobacco with a hint of whiskey, not the other way around. On my exhale though, I am getting a slight nutty flavour and a slight chocolate flavour and that will be the burly mixed in with this. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on in here. Like I said, you've got black Cavendish, you've got burly, you've got Virginia and you've got bourbon whiskey. It's all strong flavours, but mixing together nicely. That bourbon whiskey is sort of smoothing it out, making it slightly mellow, because black Cavendish by itself is quite a strong tobacco. The Virginia is giving it a slight sweetness, and the bird is giving it a slight chocolatey sort of flavour as well. It's not too strong though, it's not overpowering vape, it's a really nice vape. This is one that I can vape all day quite easy. So yeah, if you like a nice burly and black Cavendish sort of flavour, you like a nice bourbon whiskey, you'll like this one. All 
all of those tobaccos and blend them nicely together, making a really smooth vape. I do like that one. That was the American whiskey blend. Let's try the next one. Okay, here's our second flavor. It's going to be the Inca cigar. This one again is going to be six milligrams. Vapor this one on my Galaxy's MTL RTA. This has got the same sort of coil as the last one. It's coming at a 1.15 on this one. Inca cigar is going to be made with Peruvian tobacco leaves. It's going to give you a slight coffee tobacco creaminess on the exhale. So yeah, gonna fire at 15 watts. Let's give Inca cigar a quick taste. For me, on my inhales, I'm getting the Peruvian tobacco slightly spicy and slightly bitter for me. Then blending in with that, there is a slight creaminess, like they say, slight coffee note as well. Yeah, it's a bit strange this one. On the inhale, it's slightly bitter. Then on the exhale, it's really creamy flavor. Sometimes it's nice to have a vape that has different sort of aspects, um, depending on what you're doing. If you're inhaling it, if you're exhaling it, the aftertaste on this one is a really creamy coffee flavor for me. I don't think they've got any coffee in here. What happens is in the Peruvian tobacco where it's grown, it's grown in fields where they also grow coffee beans. So the soil takes on that flavor and that flavor is passed on to other plants being grown nearby. So the tobacco leaves, they get a the slight hint of coffee. It's not from actually coffee being added to the mix. It's just what they're getting from the ground where it's all being grown. A really nice Peruvian tobacco cigar flavor. Like I said, slightly spicy and slightly bitter on the inhale, but then straight away I'm getting a sort of creaminess and a coffee sort of a sensation. This for me is one I would vape more in the evenings than an all day vape. It is nice if you like a nice cigar flavor, you'll like this one. I could, like I said, I could vape this in the evenings after work with a little drink. It'd be quite nice. That's going to be just me personally. You may be able to vape this all day long and love it. We're all different. Like I said, the American Whiskey Blend. That one for me is an all day vape. Really, really nice. This is more in the evening with a drink. Maybe even a drink of whiskey with this would be quite nice. I very rarely drink whiskey nowadays. I'm more of a um, vodka drinker nowadays. But no, really, really nice. Like I said, it's one of those vapes that gives you different flavors depending on what you're doing. On that inhale, it is a slightly spicy, bitter tobacco flavor. Mixing with that straight in there afterwards is gonna be a slight creaminess. And on the exhale, I'm getting the creaminess and the coffee as well as the tobacco. Nice vape, not one for me for all day long, but like I said, in the evening, yes. Do you like it though? I've never had a bad tobacco vape from Best of Liquid yet. So yeah, that was those two. I have two more for next week. As you know, with YouTube policies, I can't put any links down below to third party sites. But down below is a link to my own website. On my website, there's a vendor's page. On the vendor's page, Best Sick Liquid is already there. And that's about all I got for you today, guys and girls. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Dislike it, of course, give me a thumbs down. If you're new to me here on this channel, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell to get notified of any new videos I do. And yeah, I will see you all 
on the next one.